run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Break the chains and our freedom is ours to take. Shade, this is just to prevent my sister from attacking you in case she sees you. So what is she? Some That's sort of fire type Ash. girl? Yep. Look at all the love and stuff. You know I'm ice. Hey Ash. It, who's your friend? This is Shade. Uh he's an ally to the Dragonlands. Um, Another one? Yeah, actually, um, this time, Ray confirmed the allyship, and I rescued him from some soldiers, so... Uh, There's other the people home. I'm gonna have to worry about? Nah, you're good. Okay. Uh, it's only me and my sister here. Um, but I did rescue him from some soldiers, and his house is just... Yeah. It's unusable. You can't go back there. It's sealed uh, now. I've already handled that much. But... Kingdoms know where he lives, so until everything gets settled, we'll be staying in the Dragonlands. Got it. Uh, the pesky oh. delivery men are annoying. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. I see. And as you may tell, he's not human either, so... We're I can there. tell. May I ask, yep. what are you exactly? Hmm. I suppose, uh... What I am has many names, but I'm simply a Noctua. <laughs> Noctua? I've no, never heard of that. The Noctua were a family under the protection of Aether, the ancient dragon uh, thread. Basically, Ray's opposite. Since Ray is hope, <laughs> Aether was dread. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Welcome yep. to the Dragonlands! Nice to meet you, I'm Ash. I uh, suppose you can call me Shade. <laughs> it's... Nice to meet you, Shade. I so see you, you have chosen a unique place of re living, that's for certain. It keeps me warm. Yeah, I'm very yeah. interested in how your house hasn't cooked anybody alive yet, but... <laughs> that's a thing for another time. Yeah, well, I'm not too fond of the heat, but whatever. That's because you're cold. Exactly. And I prefer <laughs> to keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Shade, you can just call me Rosie now. Since we know each other formally. I originally oh. told him a you say so, Frost. name. <laughs> I originally told him a fake name because I didn't know if I could trust him. Uh, yeah, that's, okay. that's pretty much it. He's free to roam where he so pleases, so don't 
like, attack him while he's here. Just don't go through my house. That's all I ask. If you aren't aware, the Dread prefer winter terrain anyway, so I would much rather not go in there in the first place, so... <laughs> Alright. Wow, the heat of your house is actually good for keeping people away. Maybe except Let's for see? one other person. Who? Aki. Oh. Who's yeah. this Aki person exactly? He's, He's an ally. We hired him. Oh, Merc. Those were always annoying to deal with. Eh, well, we've assured his loyalty, so. Well, but I'll suppose yeah. if I see somebody mercenary, like, walking around here, I won't shoot first and ask questions later. I would hate to have so a Hydra poison arrow hit, hit him and then find out he was your ally. <laughs> yeah. Hydra Agreed. poison arrows? Are you sure we can trust this guy? <laughs> yep. I'm sure. Uh huh. You're okay, sis. <laughs> well, I guess we all got our things to do today. Yep. Yeah. Right. I should probably much... look into restocking some of my supplies. Alrighty. But... I gotta get some stuff done personally, but. I'm glad we're all on the same page here, so don't worry, he's good. I'm gonna trust your judgement on this one. Do so, I'm leader for the- for a reason. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Alright. It's nice talking to you guys, I got stuff to do. Alright, yeah. see ya sis! Bye! Well, see you around, Ash. See you, Frost. See you around, Shade. Hmm. Should be enough Hydra things from now. Should hood help me, uh top off my supply of hydro arrows and other materials that I need. Who the hell is that? Uh, Rosie and Ash said something about an Aki person, but another new person. Wait, wait. Who exactly are I'm... you? What? Who exactly are you? And why are you here? Oh, oh, um, hi. Uh, um, hello. Um, hi. Are those uh, uh, presents? Uh, 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 yes, those are those are presents. Um. So I take it you're another friend of Frost and uh, Fire Girl over there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm Gal. Or galaxy um my uh my uh, my brother aki brought me here oh, okay and, um, so you're related to the aki person ash warned me uh that makes sense <laughs> uh well um R rosie she healed me so i just wanted to say thank you so i brought some presents uh hmm. who are you i am somebody who goes by any names, but currently I'm known as Shade. <laughs> nice so. to meet you! <laughs> uh, uh, I suppose it's nice to meet you too, Gal, was it? Yes, Gal, or Galaxy, whichever you want to call me. Alrighty then. Um, well, I suppose that's kind of awkward considering I. You're lucky you're not armed at all, because in due such a time of day, I would have thought you were a threat and shot you if the, you were any more threatening than you are now. And I have to say, hey. you don't seem like you pose much of a threat. I already been stabbed, I kinda don't want an arrow. Yeah, you, I don't think you want Hydra Poison either. But, no, thank you. Uh, so, you're just... You're lucky that you're not armed or anything, otherwise I would have perceived you as a threat. <laughs> well... <laughs> well, it's kind of awkward, because, uh... Rosie and Noah 
her, Ash had warned me about another person besides Aki, so... Color me oh. surprised when another person shows up. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I'm... I, I, I guess I didn't think I'd come here without Aki, so... Uh, I, I, want, I just wanted to surprise them. I, I didn't think it would be much trouble. Mm, that's fine. I'm just a paranoid person due to past experiences. Put it that way. My tr I, I understand. My, my trust is very hard to gain. The fact that you're even seeing me in face to face rather than just hearing my voice would sh would show that you are no uh, chance of being harmed, just purely because you're friends with Frost. But, so uh, don't be too that's, afraid. That's good. <laughs> um, do you want some cookies? Uh, I sure. <laughs> uh. Things like this. Um, they're they're homemade. They're they're chocolate chip. I hope you like them. <laughs> I mean, chocolate is good, but thank you. <laughs> but um, uh, this is kind of an awkward meeting to put it the least. Is there any reason why you came at this time of day and not when it was uh, still dead? Well, I I wanted. I wanted to surprise Rosie and also Crystal. Uh, Crystal's this really cute little dragon Rosie has. Um, mm -hmm. So I made them some plushies. And I didn't want them to see the plushies. I thought it'd be a cute little surprise. Rosie comes out of her house and, oh, there's random presents. <laughs> I, s I suppose that makes sense. A harmless gesture, but a kind one nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well then, um, this is something you frequently do, you know, like walking around at almost midnight. I mean, kinda. I usually stay around my house, though. Uh, this just happened to be a kind of spur on whim moment that I thought of. Kind of got it from a book that I read. That'd be fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, I kind of can't go out in the daytime. Is that so? Is there any reason for that? I kind of burn up like a vampire in one of my books. Interesting. Yeah, uh, Aki, my brother, is working with Rosie to try to find a cure for me. Hmm. Which, you know, very nice. I kind of feel a little bad that Aki has to try to do this for me, anyways. But, I mean, you know, it's not not that horrible always having to go out at night, I guess. May I inquire, uh, the stars are beautiful. May I inquire what exactly caused this ailment? For, for, for all my hunts, never have I witnessed this situation. That you seem to be. <laughs> I ha I have a curse on me. Ah, uh, I see. My dangerous uh, things as well. My, <laughs> my mother uh, thought it'd be so much fun to put a curse on me. But uh, hey, um, just because I burn, uh, I have a good part of the curse. I have super strength. Uh. Not really, um, controllable, though. But I took off a guy's head! That was kind of cool, I okay, guess. A little then. gross, too. If I wasn't a dread, I think I would be a bit more nervous, but... At least I had my hair to heart, which I would hope would lessen the damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I did it. Hey, good thing I didn't bring any knives, right? <laughs> yeah, yes, that, that that is a good thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, now that I've seen you, you don't have to worry about any threat. Well then, that was a uh, episode of DLL. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. This is Vortex signing out. Peace. <laughs>